I'm dreading this. We have portraits in our Somebody help! I've been kidnapped! Sir, are you alright? You seem to be in some distress. Do I look all right? I've been kidnapped! How can you be kidnapped when you're right here? What sort of question is that? Of course I'm right here. I've more than one frame. Do you only have one home? It's my other frame. It's been stolen. And by students, no less. They paid filthy fees to steal my other frame. Oh dear. That sounds awful. Well, awful is exactly what a story of cricket is. She's behind all of this. She and her friends were moaning about me of all the nerve. Then I heard a plot to enlist a gang of good-for-nothings to have me stolen from the three broomsticks. That's why my other frame hung. Marvel of a place. Though I suppose one could do worse. I once knew a portrait who ended up in the hog's head. No one's heard from him since. Right. So back to your frame. Ah, yes. There I was, powdering my wig, and the next thing I knew, I was being manhandled by rogues and carried off. As if I can afford not to be at my post. I do important work for the headmaster, and I need my other frame back at the three broomsticks. I don't suppose you have any idea where your stolen frame was taken. Can you see anything from it? I most certainly can. They brought me to a ruin of all places. Some crumbling atrocity surrounded by water from the sound of it. Oh, I do also recall seeing the coast on the way. What do you mean you do important work for the headmaster? Let's just say I overhear quite a bit in Serona's fine establishment. And the headmaster likes to know all about it. He's come to count on me in this regard. Reminds me of my prefect days. <sighs> Just who is Astoria Cricket, and what would she want with your frame? She's a fourth-year troublemaker, that's who. She and her band of hoodlums discuss all sorts of misdeeds right under my nose, and then resent me for overhearing them. I can only assume they took my frame in some misguided attempt to punish me for doing my job. I could look into the matter for you. Oh, would you? How marvellous. Do it quickly, though, won't you? The place they took me to is quite beneath me. Off you go, then. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? But breaking into Alfred Lawley's home wasn't the brightest idea. A story of cricket? That depends. Am I in trouble? Ferdinand Pratt thinks you should be. Says you stole his frame. I wouldn't call it stolen. Relocated's more like it. How do I put this nicely? Ferdinand Pratt is a postulant boil, and he's lucky I didn't have him sealed in a wall. Surely he can't be that terrible, can he? All he does is spy on students in here and report back to the headmaster. Sometimes, if there's nothing to report, he'll make it up. I spent four hours in detention last week, all because he told Black that I was planning to drain the lake, whatever that means. It was the last straw. He and his frame had to go. May I ask where you put him? Well, I didn't put him anywhere. The frame is likely with the fine gents I paid to snatch it. They camp in a ruin by the coast. I just wanted it far enough away that I'd never have to think about Ferdinand Pratt ever again. You do know he's screaming in the library as we speak. Oh, for the love of Merlin. If you ask me, he's got nothing to scream about. I could have had him put in the hog's head. 
The pampered prat would have hated it. Grimy walls, smell of goats. And the patrons, they eat snooty princes like Ferdinand for dinner. But what's done is done. He isn't here anymore, and if I were you, I should enjoy it. Lovely chatting with you. Folks still talk about you taking down that troll in the village. Not much of a dark art, but I've always said that travel broadens the mind. <laughs> Revelio. Extreme Elvis. Accio. Coward. Incendio. <laughs> 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 who released Treadwell, aren't you? I know what you did to and I'll not forget it. You're the one who stole our goblin helm. Well, their goblin but then it was ours. Intriguing. Lumos. Revelio. Confringo. Bombarder. 
Defend us. Arrest the momentum. Confringo. Bombarda. Lumos. Alohomora. Well, it's about time. It's a wonder there's anything left of me. Calm down, I'm here now. Calm down? Those perfumes outside have been talking about burning me! Me! If they weren't all sharing half a brain, they'd realize I'm worth more to them intact and at the three broomsticks. How is that? With everything I over here, I'm a veritable trove of information. Now, don't just stand there. I need to be back by cocktail hour. The place will be like a funeral without me. What if I don't want to return you to the Three Broomsticks? What on earth do you mean? What if I took you to the Hog's Head instead? I've heard such nice things. Huh? What a funny little joke. Now, the Three Broomsticks, please. Oh, they're bound to be missing me terribly. Uh, be sure to carry me carefully, won't you? My pantaloons are already creased. Where have you put me? It's pitch black in here. I shan't stand for this. I should investigate. Revelio. Normally toss the both of you out. But I like the look of the fancy man. Target practice. Never been able to cast the patrols. Now I don't think I'll be able to protect myself against the mentor. I've been here. <laughs> What is the meaning of this? This isn't the three broomsticks. No, it's not. It's the hog's head. Did you fall into a cauldron of stupid potion? You've brought me to the wrong place. It's absolutely vile in here. It's no three broomsticks, that's for certain. Please, you can't mean to leave me here. Please. Goodbye, Ferdinand. Enjoy your new home. I normally toss the both of you out. But I like the look of the fancy man. Target practice. <laughs> Never been able to cast the patrols. Not 
Please, you can't use me as target practice anymore. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue pack. <laughs> Hello. Nice to see you again. You as well. What can I help you with? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Thank you for your patronage. Thank you for your patronage. Glad you were able to stop by. Hello. It's good to see you, my friend. Too busy if it wasn't for you, if you I might still be caged up by those dreadful Ashwinders. I will never forget your bravery. Nothing warms a body. Like <laughs> I know what that means. Merlin trial. Rebellion. Rebellion. Tricky after all, Merlin.
I take it this means you had some luck at the library? It took a few hours, and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive. Especially with how little information he gave us. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. It seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. Did you discover why people avoid this cave? Ridiculous, really. Rumour was that the cave drove people mad. I couldn't find any account by someone who had been in the cave, though. So either it is a rumour, or anyone who went in wasn't in any state to speak of it afterwards. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. I wonder if you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. You don't think the rumours about the cave are true, do you? I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Rebellion! Uh. Lumos. Lumos. <laughs> Revelio. Confringo. Lumos. Lumos. Rebellion. Rebellion. Foipers. I beg your pardon? 
This must be how the rumor about the cave started. The Fwoopa's song is said to drive anyone who hears it mad. If the Moonstone is here and so are Fwoopers, I wonder if it's being protected. Revelio, Accio! Why am I not surprised? Revelio! First the Fwoopers and now this. We need to find moths for those spinners. Akio. Lumos. Lumos. The runes on the walls have something to do with finding the moths. Revelio. Revelio. Accio. If we pull the ring out of the rooms, I suspect we'll find the moths. Another obstacle. No Rebellion. Matter. I'm sure we can work out a way across. Accio. Rebellion. Lumos. 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 Beautiful.
did it. Should we take a closer look? You read my mind. Even more beautiful closer. Rebellion. It's got to be here. I just know it. Confringo. Given what creepers are known to do, I never thought I'd be so happy to see this many of them. I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now, and I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> it's very funny. I was just thinking how the creepy creatures haven't been here. Assuming this is where the moon Rebellion. is. Which means we're one step ahead of them. We found it! It's like staring directly at the moon. Well, we found what we came for. Now we just need to bring it to the henge. Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the Henge. Shall we? We shall. If we leave now, we should make it there by nightfall. That's the Henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the Moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the Henge. Whatever it is, it had better have to do with Snidgets. The clock is ticking in that regard, isn't it? Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. I think that's it over there. How's your gran doing, by the way? Nothing keeps gran down. She set up a caterwauling charm and threatened to make a coat out of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. I still feel terrible that I'm the reason they went there. Surely she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidgets. I hope so. Gran understands how important it is to protect those who need it. I think we can safely say we know where the Moonstone goes. <laughs> that was a moon calf dance. Do you know how rare it is to see even one? They only ever happen under a full moon. Though I suppose the moonstone allowed it to happen now. <laughs> 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 
Is the pattern they left behind on the ground normal? All part of the dance. No one pattern is ever the same, though. I'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it. Can't wait to tell Gran I've managed to see not one, but two Moongarf dances. She'll be jealous. You've seen this before? It was pure luck the first time. I was on high wing or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... Well, the night I met High Wing, actually, I... I'd love to hear about how you and High Wing met. I'd actually like you to know. About five years ago, High Wing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead. More money, I suppose. I'd finally had enough. I freed Highwing and we ran. We'd flown for ages when I spotted Mooncalves dancing below and we landed to watch them. It felt like an omen. A good one. A sign that the worst was over. What do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over? You see, the night I freed Highwing was also the night I ran away from home. A poacher camp. I come from a family of poachers. Merlin, I don't know what to say, Poppy. I can't imagine what that must have been like for you. I never fitted in, but the older I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with High Wing, I flew straight for her house. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. So am I. There were so many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. From everything I've seen, you're doing precisely that. I've had a bit of help. I've never told anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk about it with. We were around so many poachers in the tent. Were you not worried about being recognized? Poachers are nomadic, and most of the ones in the area aren't any I'd grown up with. That said, I suspect someone must have recognized me. That's how they got to Gran. Do your parents know about the things you do now? Saving that dragon from the fighting ring, for instance. We don't speak, or rather, they don't speak to me. Last I heard, they were in Borneo, trying to make their fortunes there. Acromantulas. However, I wouldn't be surprised if word has got back to them. Some days a part of me hopes that it has. Now that I'm older, I wish I could talk to them, get them to see sense. But sadly, I suspect that wouldn't do any good. What was it like growing up in a family of poachers? The thing I remember most was how much we moved around, always chasing the next big kill. It was chaotic and dangerous and nowhere a child should ever grow up. I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol, and we've got poachers to beat. If you collect the Moonstone, I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. Are you finished with the drawing? Just barely. I think the pattern's a bird. At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal say the key to finding the Snidget lies in the moonlight? Of course. That's it. We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. Agreed. I'm ready to leave if you are. <laughs> 